These people go to as many homicides in a night as I go to burglaries. If there were sort of, I know last year, a thousand allegations of human rights violations in Guatemala, you're probably talking about 150,000 against the common people. There are guns everywhere here. It's a different world. It really is. Guatemala City, a Central American capital with more than two million people. It is one of the most dangerous places in the world with more than 5,000 murders a year, 10 to 15 homicides every night. Okay, we're at a homicide scene at a place called San Jose Pinula. It's a municipality just outside Guatemala City. It appears that somebody has been shot to death. Somebody heard gunshots at about 5 p.m. and came out and discovered the body. And the police and the crime scene unit are on the scene now. It's amazing. The level of violence here is, is almost unbelievable. Um, when I tell them that the average uh, for the year in, in Vancouver is 30 homicides, they laugh because they tell me that that's what they get on a bad day here. found about eight shell cases. They're doing a uh, check now to see if they can find a weapon. I think I've just come into a war zone. Uh, they're trying to do their absolute best uh, with the limited resources that they have. And there's no, an incredible level of violence that I've seen here in this country. Guatemala tiene uno de los más altos índices de violencia en América. Yo creo que esto es producto de 36 años de violencia institucionalizada por parte del Estado. El Estado respondió con violencia a las demandas sociales. Los 36 años de guerra no resolvieron los problemas que generaron la guerra, pero sí nos dejaron la cultura de resolver los problemas por la vía violenta. The 1996 peace accords ended the bloody conflict, but there was no functional justice system to step in. Police powers are restricted because of their association with previous military regimes. Because of this, to make an immediate arrest, the police must catch the murderer in the act. In this case, investigators have a suspect in mind a family member. Even though he's still at the scene, they must convince a judge to order an arrest. Even a confession is not good enough. They'll need physical evidence. But the Guatemalan team lacks the forensic know-how. The scene itself is uh, badly secured. It's, um, again, the, the area is not uh, large enough. It should have been much larger. Uh, people should have been restricted, completely restricted to the crime scene. The crowd must be pushed back or they'll lose evidence left by the shooter. Well, what just happened is that somebody happened to notice that there's another shell casing sitting in the middle of this little road outside the area that was uh, cordoned off as part of the crime scene. So, uh, in this area where everybody has been standing around, um, people have been standing on top of a shell case. Available now on video on demand.